Hey everybody, I know it's been a while since I made a video. Um, I think sometimes you look for content to share, but sometimes you have to live some content in order to share. And uh, yesterday I was, I was talking about uh, my life, my dad, and lack of relationship with him. And this person at, said to me, you're emotional. Uh, I don't think you've really healed from that. And your relationship between you and your parents ain't the regular relationship where you chalk it up and charge it to the game. It is the people who have made you that you 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 mourn the the death of a relationship between them or lack thereof a relationship between them. I don't think you can really heal from that. And and looking for. Um, uh, a, a thoughtful way of moving beyond your parents. It's not the same as moving beyond a divorce or a relationship. It's not the same. So to say to somebody on an emotional topic, you haven't healed yet. I think it's an unfair assessment to treat it like other relationships, but also this. You feel how you feel. And one of the worst things I ever did in my life was not to expose how I felt. And in sharing how you feel, you really help yourself to, I guess, feel better. Not becoming emotionally constipated by saying I'm good by just holding back on how you really feel instead of releasing how you feel. Do not ask an emotional question and not expect an emotional answer. Be exactly who you are. That helps you to live your life. It's not gonna change the outcome of the past, but what it'll do is it'll allow you to actually feel exactly how you feel. And as a man who grew up not sharing how he felt, which made me a, a victim of myself, today I will tell you how I feel. I will tell you it hurts, and I will express that it hurts because I'm human. This is the problem we had for decades about men. You don't want us to show our feelings, but when we show our feelings, you say we're in our feelings, and but we're in our feelings and that's a good thing. Just don't contribute to the emotional feelings that you're about to see. You sit there, you listen, and you learn that man. Healing is not magical. Coping is not good either. Coping is wishing it away or letting it go and stuff like that. Address it, it will minimize itself. Ignore it, it will hide in the background and grow. So, I just want to talk about healing today. And some things never heal. They can be understood, but it doesn't hurt to feel it. Peace.